welcome my friends in uh, yesterday only we have reached our 1000 subscriber thank you very much all the subscriber for subscribing me we reached a milestone so it's a very happy moment for me thank you thank you very much now we move towards our next lecture that is related with the to find the distance between two points so when the points lies in the two different quadrants or in single quadrants the point lies there so to find the distance between two points say these are the two points this is the first point this is the second point <clears throat> okay and if you want to find the distance between these two points i want to find the distance between this point and this point so firstly i need to join these two points with a straight line i need to join these two points with a straight line and the length of this line the true length of this line is the the distance between these two points right the true length of this line when i this point first point this second point join these two points first and the length of this true length of this line is called as a the distance between these two points and the true length will only appear if this line is parallel to vp if suppose this line is parallel to vp then and then only is true length will appear in the front view and when it will be it will be parallel to the hvp if the distance of these two points or both the points is same from the vp if this point is a 50 mm in front of vp so this second point should be also 50 mm in front of vp so if the distance of these two points is same from this plane then the line will be parallel to this vp and will get the true length of this line on the vp it means on the in the front view you will get the uh, that is the distance between that two points now suppose the line is like this it means this is the first point this is the second point when i join it like this then its distance from vp will be same the distance of this point both points is same from vp it means the true length of this line will appear in the top view it means when the line is parallel to this the line joining these two points the line joining these two points will parallel to the vp hp at that time the distance between these two points will appear in the vp that is in the top view but we are going to see that problems when the line the point is not at the same distance from the hp or vp say this distance and this distance is different we are going to see that type of problem when the distance of this both the points is not same from the either vp or hp so let's say point a point a is 25 mm above hp above hp and uh, say 15 mm in front of vp and point b said b is say 50 mm above hp and uh, take we take the 45 mm in front of vp okay so point a is 25 mm above hp and 15 mm in front of vp and point b is 50 mm above hp and 45 mm in front of vp and the distance between projectors a and b the distance between projectors of a and b say uh, it will be 50 mm the distance between projectors of a and b is say 50 mm so the point is like this say point this is a point so a point is from here say uh, that is the 15 mm from hp it is 25 mm and the point is like this line is like this so if you see this this line is not parallel to vp as well as hp this line is not parallel to hp or vp so its true length will not appear in the front view or in the top view in that case you have to go through the auxiliary view like this from this direction you have to go through the auxiliary view to find the true length of this line that there you will get the distance between these two points so how to this solve this like kind of problems say see this this is the xy line it's well done firstly draw this points mark the points point a is 25 mm above hp plot this point 25 mm above hp so this distance is 25 mm and this point will be a dash point and 15 mm in front of vp 
so this is 15 mm in front of VP so this will be the top view of this point this is the front view of this point this is the top view of this point 25 mm above HP 15 mm in front of VP the distance between projectors of A and B the distance between projectors of A and B is 50 mm so from this projector plot 50 mm distance to this side it will be here somewhere 50 mm on this side and here 50 mm above HP point B is 50 mm above HP so from here plot 50 mm above HP this point is say B dash okay and 45 mm in front of VP so this distance is 45 mm this point is the B okay so this is the B dash this is the B this distance is 25 mm above HP 15 mm in front of VP B is 50 mm above HP so this is the front view 45 mm in front of VP that is the top view they join front view front view front view of A and front view of B join top view of A top view of B join this okay now we need to find draw its auxiliary view now how to draw the auxiliary view of this AB so for that purpose from A dash and B dash from A dash and B dash draw the perpendicular line like this through A dash and B dash draw perpendicular projectors through A dash and B dash draw the perpendicular projectors to this A dash B dash and then take compass take distance from x y c take distance from x y to this a this much distance from x y to a take this distance in compass take this distance in compass and plot it from a dash so it will be here this distance okay take this distance plot it here okay then take this distance of b from x y line from x y line take the distance of b like this and plot it here so it will be somewhere here say this point will be b point okay and then join say this will be a1 b1 and this point will be a1 we mark this distance here that point will be a1 then we mark the distance of b and plot from b that point will be b1 then join this line and whatever the length of this line that is the true length that is whatever the length of this line that is the true length this is the distance between these two points a and b this distance a1 b1 represents the distance between these two points that is a and b so like this we are going to find out the distance between point a and b so one more is there in this case if suppose the point lies same problem is there see same problem is there, only difference is that here I make the distance difference that is rather than this point is uh, these two points A and B is above HP and B is also above HP. I just made here change, made here change that the point A is above HP and the point B is below HP. It means one point lies above HP, second point lies in below HP. So if you go through this, see the A point is above HP in front of VP, it means it is in the first quadrant and the B point is below HP and in front of VP, it means it is in the fourth quadrant. So how to solve this problem? See, procedure is same, but what, what is the change there? Now this is the second problem that is I write here, that is A point is 25 above HP, draw the same, 25 above HP. This is the A dash, then plot its top view, 15 mm in front of VP, this is the top view, then B point is 50 mm below HP, the B point is 50 mm below HP, the distance between projector is same, 50 mm, so plot this 50 mm distance here, B point is 50 mm below HP, so its top view will be, front view will be below HP, it means it will be here, B dash, and 45 mm in front of VP and 45 mm in front of VP. So from XY line at 45 mm distance, this is the top view of this point. So this is the front view of this point, this is the top view is on this point. As this point lies in the fourth quadrant, that's why its front view and top view will be both will be below XY line. Now join the front view of this A dash and top front view of the B dash. Do remember 
join the front view front view only join the front view of this a dash and front view of the b dash okay then join the top view of a and top view of b like this join the front view of a front view of b join top view of a top view of b now in the earlier case we drawn the perpendicular is in the one direction because the both the points a and b in this problem in this problem the both the points lies above hp that's why we draw perpendicular in the one direction as in this problem the one point is above hp second point is below hp that's why we are going to draw the perpendicular in opposite direction we are going to draw the perpendicular in the opposite direction means what see to this a dash and b dash one perpendicular we have to draw on this direction in this direction whereas the other perpendicular we are going to draw in the opposite direction see one perpendicular on this direction second perpendicular on this direction to the a dash b dash okay now take the same distance that from x y distance x y line to a distance take this distance this distance and plot it from a dash this will be point a1 then take b distance from x y to b distance and plot from b dash to this point so it will be somewhere here say this will be b1 this will be a1 then join this okay and this will gives you the true length of this line and it is the distance between these two points it is very much simple only difference is that see in this case the both the point lies above hp that's why we draw perpendiculars in the same direction in this case one point is above hp second point is below hp that's why we draw perpendiculars in the opposite direction that is one in this direction and second is in this direction whatever the distance we plot that distance is same that is from x y line to top view x y line to top view and we plot from the same point so the procedure is same only whatever the perpendiculars we drawn that is in the different direction so like this we can find the distance between two points whether the points lies above hp or the point lies one point is above hp and below hp it means whether the point lies in the one quadrant or two different quadrants we can find by this method we can find the distance between these two points and that for that we use the method that is auxiliary method so if you have any problem with this do comment so i will solve that problem i will give you the suggestions about that problem so do like do subscribe and share my that videos to your friends so that they get benefit from this problems okay thank you thank you very much